We have the greatest setup here in the world, come on. We are, we purport to be very patriotic, but uh, we somehow huckster our national heritage. I don't want to bore you with lectures. You know, it turns out George Washington, especially for his time and his task, was a great man. He was tall and imposing and brave and the right man at the right time and risked would have been hung and we lost the revolution. He's in truth the father of our country. And I'm sure he'd be very, very thrilled to know that we sacredly observe his birthday each year with a mattress sale. <laughs> Used car dealers. I'm Bill Duncan from Bill Duncan Dodge, and I got vans for $9,999, right, George? And this poor actor gets 90 bucks with a bad wig and a hatchet. That's right, Bill. I'm chopping down those prices. A veritable cherry tree of savings. Leave me alone. No, we're very sensitive about our national heritage. You know, we, um... The American Civil War, a conflagration of untold proportions, brother against brother, American against American, the bloodiest conflagration ever fought on our own soil, and capture it all in this Civil War chess set. <laughs> Yes, the Franklin Mint will send you on your approval once every four months, each of these chess pieces at $37.50 a pop. You get the whole set to complete. You can play a nice game of chess with your friends in the year 2034. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the way they say, on your approval. You know, you may not want all the pawns. They're annoying. They get in the way, you know. Now, just one knight and one bishop for each. I, you know, on your approval. And this limited edition, uh, only two billion copies of this practice. <laughs> there are certain areas of the world too soft to market, like the Sri Lanka area, they can't penetrate it with the Civil War chess set. The elective spending is you know, gone for things like rice, you know. And so, uh, but they'll get there eventually, believe me. And I say, look at the detail and compassion on General Lee's face. This is one of the kings, General Lee. You look at this, this was, uh, you know, uh, molten lead 10 days ago. Uh -huh. General Lee could be Peggy Lee. <laughs> Pinky Lee. Trig V Lee, remember him? You have no idea who this is, unless they tell you. Much less compassionate, you know, it could be doing anything. There was there's a wonderful example, which no one cares about. I never hear, I never heard him, the, the laureates for him for this, in government service. The first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong, did not huckster his position, did not take this gross advantage. A guy like Michael Devers, the president's best friend, leaves government service. Hey, Korea, Canada, come on. <laughs> That's what it is. You know, I mean, it's the worst. There's no excuse, you know. Um, Neil Armstrong, do you realize that's the commercial gambit of the century? First man on the moon, remember? And yet he landed on the moon, remember his first words, incredibly touching. I was so embarrassed, bad reception. They get to the goddamn moon, you can't hear him. Embarrassing. They must have used Sprint. You know, I mean, that's... Don't pay AT&T twice. Why, you know, that AT&T is too expensive. Why bother to hear the person you're calling? <laughs> luxury without that luxury, 50% off. Hello. Ah. Man. Go up. Hey, go up. This is not an authorized call. Your number is incorrect. Hello, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You know. <laughs> He did say a small step for man, a giant step for mankind. It is still admitted in our imaginations, although it happened, believe it or not, in 1969, 60s, 60s, 80s. But it still is the farthest out of our imagination that we've penetrated the mysterious and one of our great achievements collectively. I had a great deal to do with it myself, you know what I'm saying? But you know. Do you realize what that means, first man on the moon? He could have set himself up for 50 lifetimes if he were a Michael Deaver. Could have put his foot in the moon and go, Coca-Cola! <laughs> what were the first words in the moon? Coca-Cola, trivia 200 years from now. 
What are they gonna do, call him back? All right, Neil, get that vehicle back here. That's unauthorized and we're pissed off. <laughs> He's got him by the Monongahela's. He's on the moon, cost billions, you know. <laughs> IBM, be right with you, Saul, you know. He didn't, which reminds me of a crumb bum in our past who did. Agnew, remember this bum. I was reading the other day, I remember, that was, evidently, while he was already in the White House, he took some bribes, like a $1,500 payment for some highway deal. I mean, don't get me wrong, but in my eyes, he almost would seem like less of a crumb bum if he took more. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is his idea. Well, I'm vice president now, $1,500. <laughs> put his foot at the moon and he'd sell out much more cheaply, you know. Sam's Taylor Shop, Baltimore. <laughs> Vinny's Crab Cake Emporium. We deliver. I mean, you know, this is... A... <laughs> that time, I remember the 3M company, and when they gave an illegal bribe to Nixon, got a $3,000 fine. I think it was a felony. They'll never do that again after that kind of thing. I slept at board meeting. They went crazy. <laughs> Three thousand dollars. How are we going to come up with that kind of money? <laughs> Any ideas, genius board members? We can have a bazaar, sir. I got a, comp a letter the other day from Lee Iacocca about something and fun and people talking about him for president. I felt it personally to me. It was a computer to Robert R R A R B U R T Klein K L Y N E. <laughs> Wrong name, you know. Computers don't have intuition. They're hilarious. I got a new Apple computer and it shows you I'm not still too immature to do this. You put the beginner program in, it says, put in your first name. I went, shithead. <laughs> and it goes, hi, shithead, glad to meet you. <laughs> now, first thing is they're going to say, you know, answer, which of these is correct? Right, shithead. You're on your way to being a computer genius. We laughed 10 times at this nonsense. Now, shithead, let's see, you know. Now, shit had a lot of people have trouble <laughs> with this next question, but I'm sure you'll get it. Spectacular shit! You know, it gets all excited. And it's, stupid machine doesn't know it's calling me shithead. My name is Robert Klein, not shithead. It's quite a joke, right? It's in the level of teasing a dog, you know. I got food for you. No, I don't. You know, I mean, it's... <laughs> they do have, of course, the cheekiest commercial. I tell you, Lee Iacocca could be a good president. He certainly has the nerve. They have a commercial. 99 out of 100 people tested preferred the Dodge 600 ES to the Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> I'd like to meet these people. <laughs> I'd to give them a Rorschach test in a <laughs> locked room with a Pinkerton guard with a tranquilizer gun. I mean, how do they get these results? I mean, it's a cute car for 82.50, but a Benz? Well, they must use North Korean police methods with an electric prods. Which would you prefer? Well, frankly, the Mercedes. A Dodge! A Dodge! I like the Dodge! I love the Dodge! I don't know where my kids go to school! I mean, they can...